One of the most uh, common implicit differentiation problems that students trip, a lot, trip, up, trip up on is when you have to use the product rule in the context of implicit differentiation. So in this problem, we have 3x squared y plus y squared equals 5. And what students will typically do is not apply the product rule right here to this 3x squared uh, y. All right, so that is a product, though. And so what I usually do is I group the 3x squared as one term, and then I group the y as another term. Okay, so... Um, let's do that then. So what this will look like when you take the derivative is it will be the first, which is 3x squared, and then it's going to be times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the second is y prime, or dy dx. You can write either one. All right, and then we'll go plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first, and that's 6x. All right. And then we'll take the, that's a great 3 there, um, and then we will take the derivative of this y squared. And remember that y squared is minus, the derivative of that is 2y times the derivative of the inside, which is y prime. Okay. So there's that. And then times the derivative of the 5, well, the derivative of 5 is just 0. Okay, so that's where we're at after the first step. The next thing that we're going to do is we've got to look at things that don't have dy dx's in them and move them to the other side, or excuse me, y primes in them. So we'll take this y times 6 times x, we'll move it to the right-hand side. So what we'll end up with on the right is minus 6xy, if we kind of reorder those things there. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do is factor out a y prime from each one of these terms. So we end up with this y prime times 3x squared, that's coming from right here, and uh, minus 2y, and that's coming from right here. All right, so we'll be left with that. The next thing that we're going to do is solve this for y prime. So we're going to divide both sides by 3x squared minus 2y. So we end up with y prime is equal to negative 6xy divided by 3x squared minus 2y, the entire quantity. All right? And so that's, the, um, that's our final answer. We can leave it like that. Um, and so what you want to be careful of is whenever you have a situation like this where you have x squared y or x times y or a product of an x and a y, don't just go, you know, 6xy, right? Um, make sure that you... Um, apply the product rule and sometimes this happens with the quotient rule too so make sure that you're paying attention to both of those rules and then also this one's nice because it includes the chain rule over here too that's a chain rule problem with the y squared sometimes students will forget that too so be careful with implicit differentiation that you're applying all the derivative rules